Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I don't eat fast food very often, but yesterday I stopped by one of the um, Mexican fast food places, one of the more popular ones, and grabbed a couple bean burritos and some nachos. And the burritos were pretty good, but the nachos were mediocre at best. And then when I got home later on, I was looking through my cupboard and I saw this can of Hormel cheese sauce. It comes in a kit. It's a chili cheese dip kit. And I was wondering if I could make very good nachos with this stuff. I've never tried it. So today I'm going to give it a review and we're going to do this in the toaster oven. So let's get toasting. It's too bad I didn't take a picture of these nachos yesterday so I could compare them to the ones I make here. But I think this was the Nachos Bel Grande it was $3.49 for this. And it had uh, meat, refried beans, cheese sauce, sour cream and some really pale looking bland tomatoes on it so I'm basically going to use the same thing but I'm not going to use refried beans just the the chili with no beans and the cheese sauce now I've had this chili before but I've never tried the cheese sauce before so I'm going to try the cheese sauce out today and uh, we'll see how this compares to the the nachos I bought yesterday I'm just going to warm this up in my little cast iron skillet. I put some chips in there, I already put some of the chili on there. And I think this chili and cheese dip kit cost me $2.99 at the grocery outlet. So uh, cheese looks pretty good so far, I wonder how it tastes. That tastes pretty good to me. Let's put some of that on there, oh, it's got a nice little bite to it, kind of a a little bit spicy. I think it tastes better than the cheese sauce I had on the nachos yesterday. All right, uh, let's put that in the toaster oven and warm it up. I set my oven to bake at 350 degrees. And while this is warming up, I'm gonna cut up some of those homegrown tomatoes that actually have some flavor. Well, there's how it looks. While the chili and cheese was heating up, I cut up some fresh homegrown tomato. I also cut up a little green onion and red onion just for a little more color, a little more flavor. Added a little dollop of sour cream to the top of it. Um, definitely looks a lot better than the ones I got yesterday. <laughs> Way more appetizing and colorful. But the thing is, how will it taste? So let me try it out here. This is good. This is way better than the nachos I had yesterday. Those are the ones I had yesterday, on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give them like a five. And these I'd probably give a like an eight or a nine. This chili cheese dip is good. Makes good nachos like this. So uh, hope you guys will give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. 